Hi everyone, thanks for coming to the channel. If this is your first time, my name is Peter. If you've been to the channel before, thank you for coming back. Just a brief background if you're new to the channel. I spent my working career in the maritime industry with the last 20 as a trainer and assessor. I'm retired now, so I spend my time making short videos on marine topics and tutoring. I'm also an invigilator with the Office of Maritime Communications. So to fund the videos, I conduct marine radio license exams. You can find more information on when you need a marine radio license and who needs one on our website at truenorthmarine.com.au. Today's video is part of a series of videos related to coastal navigation. As well as tutoring, I'm also a rescue boat captain. Now, if you're out boating and you require assistance for whatever reason, a grounding, breakdown, fuel problems, a medical issue on board, the very first piece of information that I would require is to know where you are. What is your latitude and longitude? If you can provide that very basic but vitally important piece of information to me, then it can save a huge amount of time and make the process of fighting you so much easier. Now, if you're new to boating, this may sound like a foreign language, but trust me, it's a very easy process to obtain this information. However, it all starts with learning the basics of coastal navigation. If you've been boating for a while or you're applying for a marine qualification, then you will still find this series of short videos great for revision and essential passing and assessment. If you'd like to obtain a copy of the entire series with actual exercises, please use the link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Navigation comes down to just three easy questions. One, where am I? Two, where am I going? Three, how do I get there? You'll be able to answer those three questions after completing the next three sections. Anything after that is to make you an even better navigator. Let's not worry for the moment that the Earth is not perfectly round. Let's look at it as a large ball. If we divide this ball into two halves at the middle, we get what I'm sure you know is the equator, an imaginary line labelled zero degrees that divides the Earth in two horizontally. Now, let's divide the ball into two halves vertically. This line, like any line that joins the North and South Poles, is known as a meridian of longitude. If that line from the North Pole passes through London to the South Pole, it will be known as the Greenwich Meridian, or the Prime Meridian, also labelled zero degrees. And there you have the two most basic but important facts. You can now show whether you're in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere, and East or West of the Greenwich Meridian. You can now refer to any place on the Earth's surface by its coordinates. We need to measure the angular distance north or south from the equator, in other words, the latitude, and east or west, a maximum of 180 degrees from the Greenwich Meridian, the longitude. There are, of course, 360 degrees in any circle, and each degree consists of 60 parts called minutes. Each minute equals one nautical mile. The maps we use for navigation are called charts. These are produced by the hydrographic departments of the various navies of the world and show us a wealth of information such as coastal details, lights, buoys, depths, tidal information, nature of the bottom, and much, much more. Amongst the various types of charts is the familiar Mercator projection, named after the Dutch navigator. Imagine a large light bulb placed inside a globe and a cylinder of card around the outside. The resulting projection would straighten all the lines of latitude and longitude and make for much easier short distance navigation. There's a little distortion of the land, but it doesn't interfere with our tracks. The Mercator chart then is the one we use for coastal navigation. Let's take a closer look. The first thing you notice is the scales around all four edges. Those on the side, the latitude scale, shows the number of degrees and minutes north or south of the equator. The scales at top and bottom, longitude scales, show the degrees and minutes east or west of the Greenwich Meridian. When you are measuring distance, always use the latitude scale at the side, roughly level with the area you are working. On Mercator charts, a nautical mile is not the same at different latitudes due to the convergence of meridians, and you can't measure distance on the longitude scales at the top or bottom of the chart. Well there you have it, thanks for watching the video. Please look out for other videos that will take you through the whole process of learning the basics of coastal navigation. See you in the next video.